Hey guys, I'm gonna post this full gameplay fourth quarter action against the Cleveland Cavaliers. He is the number two seed in the East, so why not post a full fourth quarter gameplay? So before the fourth quarter starts, I wanted to show that last play of the third because it was a nice play. <laughs> So this video was on my stream, but it seems like a lot of people didn't catch the stream because it was a late night stream on my channel. Like when I looked at the live, only uh, it got less views than my other streams and my other videos. It only had about, I think, forgot the number, but it was significantly lower than all my other streams and videos. Like I said, it was a late night stream, so not a lot of people saw this game. Which is why I decided to post it now. <laughs> with commentary. And one of the problems with that stream is that my mic was muted. I didn't even know, but nobody was on the stream to tell me that. Because I was doing live commentary the whole time, but my mic was muted. So he didn't even hear me during that live stream, which was unfortunate. Which is another reason I decided to post this right now, so I could talk over the gameplay there's a lot of things I wanted to mention that I was speaking about in the live stream. In this specific game, I didn't post the first three quarters because it is on the live stream. So if you want to catch the first three, you can check it on my channel. So my opponent has Luka and a lot of defensive players around him. And he also has Darius Garland off the bench as six man. And he is extremely, extremely quick. <laughs> as you can see right here, he blew by right... My whole defense. So one thing that I like to do to start the fourth is I like to play my bench the first couple of minutes. A lot of people like to play their starters the whole fourth quarter, but I feel like stamina is really an issue going down the stretch when the game is really close. So right now I'm still trying to learn Jaden Ivy at my bench because I haven't been using it that much. Sorry about that. There's a car that just honked in the back. Because I live in a busy street, so there's a lot of, unfortunately, <laughs> drivers that are not good at driving. So there's always issues, honking, etc. Get an Ivy with the wide open three. That would have been huge, but I miss. Another thing I wanted to mention is that we are still recruiting for the league. Because during this period, a couple of teams left already because they're just not good at the game or they suck at drafting a team. So if you watch my draft video, the guy that drafted Alex Caruso in the second round, he left the league. The guy that drafted Evan Mobley with his first pick over Anthony Davis and other superstars, he left the league. Like I don't know what people are thinking when they draft. They're either smoking something good. Because <laughs> during the draft day, they're talking a lot of smack in the chat, in the group chat, saying that, oh, you, you don't know what I'm doing. You know, I know I have a strategy, blah, blah, blah. But then, like, one week into the league, they quit the league because their team sucks. So, those people are always the first ones to quit. The ones that make questionable decisions when they draft. And speaking of decisions, 2K keeps messing up the settings. They had Clint Capella guarding Garland. I never did that ever. And they also had Tatum guarding Dante Exum. Dante Exum didn't even play in this game. <laughs> he had zero minutes. I don't know how they put Tatum on Exum. So that was extremely bizarre. So four minutes left. He cuts into the paint. He gets a two-point lead. So now I'm bringing back my starters in the game. I'm mixing it up. I'm trying to mix Beverly with... Lamelo Hart. I'm trying to play a defensive lineup because Garland and Luca is a problem. If I could stop those two, then I felt like my offense could take care of itself. So which is why I was playing Beverly down the stretch. I was living with Brook Lopez taking mid-range shots. Honestly, I would rather stop the drive from Luca. I'd, let, I'd rather live with Luca. I mean, Lopez taking shots. And right here was a silly violation. We we're trying to call for a screen. So my opponent has a two-point lead with the basketball. So it seems like the momentum is swinging. The Cavaliers leading. But we just got to stay composed. In these moments, a lot of teams tend to crumble and give the momentum back to the opponent. But I'm going to stick with the game plan, which is collapse on Luka and let everyone else shoot. Lopez was going to hit that. I was going to live with it. 
Now we're trying to set things up. Tie the basketball game because if we don't score here, it's going to be huge. And we get a foul. Let's go. So two clutch free throws for Tatum. We make the first one. So my opponent is also playing with a defensive lineup. As you guys notice, he took out Darius Garland because I was abusing Garland every time he had him in the game. So Luka was trying to go ISO right there, single coverage. Josh Hart has post lockdown. So if Josh Hart is guarding in the post, I honestly don't mind doing one-on-one. -on -one. I live with the result. Again, I'm taking my time. I'm seeing how he's playing defense with his lineup. Like I said, he's been switching to zone. He's been switching his lineup. So I'm trying to see how he's playing me. This wasn't a good possession, honestly, but I'd rather take my time than rush a shot and give him a fast break opportunity. So since we used the whole clock, our whole team had a chance to recover. Again, Luka from midi. Luka's been playing most of the game, so he has... He's close to the Gatorade symbol. So him taking jump shots, I'll live with that. So we are down by one point. We're going to try to execute a play right here. And we get doubled. We pass the ball around. Set a nice screen. Wide open three. Ah, we don't make it. Everybody's fighting for the rebound. Look, everybody's in the paint. <laughs> oh my goodness. By the way, if you want to join the league, drop a comment. There are a couple of spots open because the spots do fill up quickly. Again, Lopez is in the post against Josh Hart. I'm going to live with that. If Brooke Lopez wants to be the hero, <laughs> I'll let him do that. <laughs> you know? Because that's not really his game. He's not really an offensive player. When he was with Brooklyn, he was an offensive force. But now, with the Milwaukee Bucks in real life, he's more of a defensive specialist and a three-point shooter. Now we are up by one point. It is clutch time for our squad. He tries to do a backdoor cut. Our whole team is there. I'm going to let him shoot that. <laughs> Again, if it's not Luka <laughs> with the ball, I'm going to live with that. I think he subbed out Luka in this moment of game because Luka was playing the whole game. And like I said, he was super tired. This is why I play my bench in the first couple of minutes in the fourth, so I don't have to sub him out like this. Because <laughs> look at this, it's a one-point game with a minute left and he doesn't have Luka in the game. He has Cam Johnson out of all people in the game. And Garland fumbles the ball. Now we're going to take advantage. He didn't manage his minutes properly, his starters properly, and it's costing him down the stretch. Garland is going to try to beat a hero. No help. There's nowhere to go. Cam Johnson is trying to create a shot off the dribble. Now it's Garland's turn. We get a nice strip right there. We're going to take advantage on the other end. I'm going to take my time. Because it's a one possession game. If I could get a basket, I know the game will be sealed. Especially since Luka is not in the game. I'm going to go with LaMelo Ball. <laughs> he had a mismatch with Al Horford. That's an easy drive to the paint. So it was a free throw game down the stretch. We make the first. We're going to end up missing the second. So my opponent has a chance to tie the game. He lobs it up to Klay Thompson. But 2K makes him take a step inside the three-point line. If he would have stopped right on the dime, he was on the three-point line. He could have tied the game right there. But 2K made him do a moving shot animation. Luka, 20 shots for 24 points. Jason Tatum was flexing on Clay at one point earlier in the game. I thought that was pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed it, drop a like and a comment and hit the sub button.